have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cute. That's really? country singer Janet Crane and her husband Mike Cawson celebrating to find it out. They're expecting a Yay! baby boy. Well, Janet yeah. and Mike, they're in a good place right now, but guys, through the years, they face their obstacles in their relationship, which they talk about openly. Yes, they join us now for a special fall in love segment with their therapist, Leslie Gustafson, to discuss how to rebuild your relationship and how to move forward, right? Welcome. Good to see you guys. Guys, first of all, everybody there. goes through something. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad y'all are yes. just talking about it. How did y'all meet Leslie? What was the first thing that had to be discussed? So we actually <laughs> met um, doing our podcast. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we've been very open on our podcast, obviously, about um, our troubles. And mm -hmm. uh, we had the pleasure of meeting Leslie. She was one of our guests because she has an intimacy box that she does. So um, mm -hmm. it's all about connecting couples together through, again, whether like everyone has problems, but um, just being able to connect couples. And so she's been, she's been a godsend for that. And, and just <laughs> to bring it back to what the issues were, when you were pregnant with your first, you found out that's when Mike was cheating, right? Mm -hmm. And it's of course been a hard, difficult time, but you've stuck together, you're working through it. What was it that kept you there, Jana? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> therapy. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Um, honestly, is I tell him this too. As much as I I hated him, I loved him so much, and I believe that if if he could do the work, and that if I could do the work, that we could we could keep our family together. Because we had you know a, a baby at the time, baby little baby girl, and yeah. I really I really wanted to fight for our family, but I saw him want to fight too, and that was really important yes. for me to see. And a lot of people have you know called in the podcast or emailed in and asking Jana, you know, what was that one moment? And what we've explained to people is for both of us, it was never one particular moment that was like, okay, this is the aha, I'm definitely gonna stay. It was a consistent process, even now. You know, for us to see the work in each other and to make sure we're both growing separately and growing together is it's been a constant, uh, constant effort. We want everybody mm -hmm. to learn from this. Let's bring in Leslie yeah. here. How can you improve your intimacy? You're going to give us some steps. And number one, Absolutely. there have to be two willing partners, yes. which they were. Yes, and you're hearing that with the two of them because it, this is a hard road that they've gone through. I actually think it's an opportunity on the flip side because not every couple gets into a hardship and has the opportunity to really get deeper and really bond and really work it through. And these two have, and it's such an incredible inspiration for other couples because it's entirely possible when two people step up and they surrender and they try and they do the hard work of working through the hard feelings together and staying together through it till they can trust again. And I guess one of the things you say is you gotta be willing to be vulnerable with each other. And I know, Jana, with you, it's it's been hard getting that intimacy back and. You know, I think Leslie, you've helped with the intimacy box, but you've said like when when Mike doesn't want to have sex with you, it's that's a hard thing for so you. You're like, well, why don't yeah. you don't want to have sex with me? Yeah, I mean, there's a ton of triggers, and again, like that's, I have to do my work on on that side. But then he, you know, he's doing his work too mm -hmm. to figure out where that comes from, and you know, I'll let you speak. Yeah, about and that. that's the unfortunate part of of our of our story is because of because of the issues that we've had is because of my intimacy issues, now it triggers her even more because of our past. You know, and so that's just something I've always struggled with in relationships is being intimate and, and connecting love and sex and all that together. That just didn't, never clicked for me. That's just how I was. Because sex for you was what? What was sex? Because I mean, you, for you, Not you went to sex, you went to a sex addiction there, uh, rehab, right? right. Yeah, for, yeah. Me, for me it was, I never correlated the two. Mm. And that's just the way, in, in any relationship, for whatever reason in my life, that's just how things worked in my brain. I didn't correlate love and sex. Mm -hmm. And so now to do that, I, that's the thing I told Jana, like I want to, I want to be willing to do those things, but it's just something about my body. I get anxious, I get uncomfortable, and I don't want to feel that way. And that's why, you know, for me personally, I'm willing to dive in and work with Leslie and work with whoever to mm -hmm. kind of overcome all that. Well, what mm -hmm. about preparing yourself for sharing this story, right? Because we hear, this like the the I've been cheated on story from women a lot, right? Mm. Or even I have cheated story from women a lot. But we never really hear from the guy who's still in the relationship. How did you prepare yourself for? Okay, we're gonna be open and honest about this, <laughs> and I'm gonna take a lot of heat. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. It took yeah. some time, especially initially. There's a lot of shame behind it. Obviously, mm -hmm. anyone who's a perpetrator in any relationship, they don't want anybody to know. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. how I was with Jana. I was like, like, stop! Don't tell anybody. Like, let's keep this tight. Unfortunately, obviously, things came out in Us Weekly cover and, and so on. So, mm. I couldn't really control much of that. So after a while, after like the first year, we came to a place where it's like, you know what? I can't, I have to own it. I can't hide from this anymore. I did what I did. This is the only way I can do it to kind of get, let our relationship go forward. Mm -hmm. And so, 
that was really when Jan and I started to grow is there's no secrets. We're not hiding from anybody. Awesome. We're not hiding from each other. Let's just put it all out there. Yeah. And also Jan has slowly been showing me Instagram direct messages she gets, emails from people coming out and saying how much it us helps. being so open has, has helped. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because, with the podcast yeah, with stuff, the podcast yeah. and everything. So that's given me motivation to continue to be open about it because originally I was like, how are we going to help people? Yeah. She's like, I'm telling you, it can. Yeah, I'm like, I promise you, there's silver lining. People want to know that, like, you can, if you really, if two people work yes. together, that they can do it. And that's, yes. you know, and you, that's mm -hmm. the great thing when you said, like, if two people truly work, like, we can show people that have hope and not just to, because it's so easy to get divorced these days. I mean, yeah. I've been divorced before. It's just mm -hmm. so easy mm -hmm. yeah. to just run from your problems. And that's what I've always done. I'm like, I want to sit in the middle and have, stuff flying at me and and work yeah. through our problems there's guys, so much we want to talk so about much. i mean <laughs> honestly, we, need, yeah. we need more no. therapy here too. Yeah. we hold on we're gonna bring you guys back we need more with you guys but yeah but mike and janet you guys are so brave for telling your story Absolutely. i really appreciate that you could check out their podcast mm -hmm. wind down with janet and good luck with the baby boy yes. 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 Scott, three, weeks, three weeks pregnant she she's said not. three weeks <laughs> she's I didn't know, do up next guys